Tourists continue to head overseas in record numbers. They're demanding more convenience and more excitement for their money. Competition among Chinese travel operators is heating up as they battle to tailor holidays for their big spending customers. The ABC's Kuei Fen Tay reports from Beijing. It could be a trip to A.S. Rock or a bed and breakfast in a French castle. Chinese tourists are searching for something different. Established travel operators in China are vying to cater for a growing market that's being driven by tourists under 35 years old. Companies are selling tickets to attractions at a discount, offering to settle visas and organize tax refunds. I checked from the past 200 booking uh, of my company, Haiwan. Uh, this 200, one third goes to classic monuments, classic sizing monuments, and more than 50% goes to activities and new experiences. China's middle class has generally lived through a prosperous period, and that is why even though the cost of living is going up very quickly, they are willing to set aside more money to see the world. One of the country's largest travel websites says the average tourist is spending twice as much as before. People spend up to $2,800 on tour groups to Australia, but independent travellers spend about $5,000 on their holidays. But these big spenders are still unlikely to pass up a good bargain. I would like some local deals, especially the food deals, like a coupons I can get for a restaurant. Chinese spending habits are changing while countries are easing visa restrictions. The strong Chinese currency also gives travelers another reason to experience the unknown. Wei Fentei, ABC News, Beijing.